803. How are you guys doing? I'm doing good, doing good over here in the neighborhood, just chilling on my way home. Had a little birthday get together for my one of my besties, dad, and um, just a little drop in, wish him a happy birthday, little prayer, and now I'm headed to the house. So you guys, um, before we get started, remember all things on this channel is alleged in my opinion. It is for learning teaching. It is for sheer entertainment. Where entertainment applies. And right now, we're going to talk a little bit about Love and Mary Chantsville. Okay? Um, you guys, I'm not sure what is going on with Stormy Steele's mother. Why she's coming after Melody like she is. I, I'm not sure what's going on. Um, I saw where who knew. She's another YouTuber. She had some text messages from Stormy, well, inboxes. Someone asked her what is going on with her and Melody. I thought you guys were friends. And she said, nothing. I, I, I don't have a problem with nobody on this show. And then the, the, the person said, I hope not because you and Mel were really cool together. It was refreshing to see. And, you know, and Stormy said, well, thank you so much, but I don't have a problem with anyone on the show. So, what is going on with Stormy's mother? Why is she going off on mail? What in the world happened? Why would you call somebody that name? Why, what in the world is wrong? Ooh, yeah. If y'all know, please tell me, because I'm lost. I am so confused on what happened. Okay, um, the only recording that was recorded that was Destiny recording Mel all of her interview to be messy with Martel. Okay, I don't understand. Y'all, <laughs> I'm confused. Okay, yeah, and people be asking me, I'm like, I don't even know. Um, this is new to me, but anyway. I hope it's not a dummy account. Uh, people portraying to be um, Stormy's mom. I hope not. Because uh, you know there are a lot of dummy accounts out here that, you know, they take on people's personalities and try to pretend like they're the person. So let's hope that didn't happen, okay? But as of now, I hadn't heard anything from Mel or Stormy, okay? Um, so let's move on. Um, and another thing, um, we're going to talk about Martell. You guys listen. I know some of you think Mel should have met Martell in the house and talk like adults. But let me tell you, you cannot be soft on Martell. You cannot show Martell, excuse me, you guys, any type of weakness. Martell is a type of man. He is a narcissist. If I tell you to come by my house, that doesn't mean I invited you in my house. That means I said come by the house to pick up the girl's things or if you have something to say. Okay. He comes, knocks on the door, thinking he's going to get in the house. He's not going to get in the house because he betrayed me again by going to sloppy and telling her medical condition which he had no right to do because he already had the children now that don't mean Mel caught COVID from him or anybody else because when she came back from New Orleans she had COVID he kept the kids because it was his time. Well, she let the kids go with him because she, he asked for them to go for a book signing. It was not his weekend. It was not his week, but that Mel let them go. And then when she came back, she wasn't feeling well. She tested positive for COVID, and the kids stayed with him. Now, you guys got to understand and be open-eyed to this whole situation. The situation is Matt, uh, Martell blatantly said on um, another interview that he and Mel were talking and he realized that there is no reconciliation in their relationship. 
he tried to make it seem like both of them tried to talk about it, but there was no talking about it. That it was already it's already a done deal. The relationship is over. Now he's pissed off because Mel has rejected him again. Everything he's trying to do to Mel that works with these other weak-minded women, it's not working with Mel. And she's grown past him. You got to understand, people grow away from other people. She is done with him other than kids. And so, he gets mad and retaliates by telling Coleslaw her medical condition. Because he knows Coleslaw is a loose cannon. She is immature. She is childish. She has no coot, nothing about herself. The only thing she has is his child. She's just a little girl that he can feed information to, and she would definitely go on there and let it be known that Mel had COVID. So that was his way of getting back at Mel. Now that happened, he's with Sheree. Oh, you don't want me, and I don't want you. You got Sheree. You thought you was going to use Sheree to pit against Mel. Then when you heard Mel say you, she doesn't have a, a thought on one way or the other about you dating Sheree, then you get pissed off again. Huh? You get pissed off again. And you're trying to make her say, oh, um, you don't have no thoughts about it? Okay. But what is the difference with you, Martell, going from woman to woman to woman and your child or your children are meeting these different women, but yet you took Mel to court because she got her family keeping her kids while she works to provide? What's the difference? Nothing. Not a doggone thing. No difference. The difference is she's got a structured family. The difference with you is you just going random to random to random. Meeting women, meeting your, letting your children meet women that you hadn't even been together a year yet to know if you're going to have a serious relationship. Now, they met Sheree. Now, you and Sheree not together no more. Come on with the come on. Make it make sense. You don't make any sense, Martell. Oh. You need to learn your boundaries and how to be a grown man. Right now, you're making little boy moves. Little boy tail can go to hell with no bottles or waters with him. Okay? The flames will burn on his rumpa tump tongue with Sheree Whitfield without him. <laughs> I just make it up stuff, child. Because Martell is just that dumb. Y'all, Martell needs to stop. This preview of an extended part of the reunion when Tisha calls Mel the devil. Baby, you are the devil and your mom. Okay? Let me tell you this. You come on this show, you saw how Mel moved. You were so happy when she was going through her divorce and the crying. You, ooh, you enjoy every bit of it. You enjoy seeing her hurt. You enjoy it because you thought, oh, she's going to need Martell. She can't do it by herself. She's going to need him. Then, once she got herself together, you can't understand how she is moving without a man. You can't understand how she is making these deals. I'm going to tell you how. Mel has always, will always be, and has always been the brains of the business. Okay? Um, Mel has helped Martell get through college. Mel has did a lot for Martell that Martell cannot do for himself. And he still can't do for himself. You, on the other hand, Letitia Scott, are stuck on stupid, stuck in the back of history, and you can't even move forward. And you know what it makes you look like? Incompetent, weak, 
and pathetic. The person that helped you the most, you despise the most. The person who put you out there, because let's be clear, you and your husband are just ordinary bessemabillies, okay? We don't know you from a jack, uh, jack or a broom. We don't know you. And we're not knowing you unless this show. And now you still hadn't showed any type of growth. You're still in the same place you were in four years ago. No growth. None. Black is still in the same building it was four years ago. No expansion. Why? Because you guys keep on focusing on what Mel got going on. But uh, she is the one expanding. Okay, she's got her own clothes, she's got her own home interior, she's partnered with, she has her own skincare line, she has her own singles that's coming out, she has her own uh, production company, she is mingling and tingling with the uh, big dogs in California, in Hollywood, in Atlanta. In New York, she is meant um, in movies. But what in the world are, are y'all doing? Family Feud, and they didn't even Steve Harvey didn't know who the hell you were. Family Feud, okay. No growth. Why are you there? Destiny. Why are you there? You have had twenty openings, reopenings, open, reopen again. Divorce, nobody still don't know why you divorced. Even though I told you I got my suspicions of why you divorced, okay? Um, divorce. Always up in Mel's business. Store closed again. No online business. No nothing. You just there. Why? You hadn't grown. No growth. No growth. Kimmy and Maurice have grown. They got their own title business now. Um, they have other ventures that they're doing. And they have grown. Even while Kimmy is fighting breast cancer, she's still growing. What have y'all done? Nothing. So, the weakest links? Marceau, Tisha. Uh, Destiny. Mm -mm. No growth. I mean, where y'all stay, I stay. You know what I'm saying? I don't. I I watch reality TV to watch the lifestyle. I I I want something different from the lifestyle that I live. I want to see how you got where you are, and I see how Tisha and Marceau, Destiny, have gotten where they are, and Martell. Martell came out, had a wine. Where's the wine? You don't see it no more. Ain't shipped no wine. Had to refund people money. Had to do this because he don't have no business sense. It was all for the show. That was subtle wine. It was not his own. Okay? So, he has not grown. Still has not gotten his builder's license. Still not working. Still got a bad reputation. Still going after Mel. Still acting like he's 20 years old instead of a grown man. Going out here saying that he's a high-valued man. No, you a high-value pimp. You ain't no man. You a low-value little boy. Okay? That wants to live in a high-value uh, high manhood. You can't do it. Your mind is too small to live in that role. Let's just be clear about it. Get yourself together. All of them need to get themselves together because I'm telling you right now, Carlos, this is not even worth it. It's not. This, If this is what you call reality, you can keep it. Because uh, Mel, Stormy, and Kimmy and Maurice really are the only ones that's moving and shaking Miss Van in this whole thing right here. And I hate to say it, Tiffany and um, Lewis seem like they working more than <laughs> any other, any one of them. I hate to say that. 
But anyway, you guys, I just wanted to come on here and just feel a little bit while I'm driving home. Um, got to midnight to give to the Move Fund. Thank you again for all the donations. Thank you um, for just being there. Okay, but you know what? You can still give through the channel. You can do the emoji, super chats. You can join the channel, buy a badge. You can do all things. Now that the uh, move fund is done, you guys can just pour into the channel. Um, I have uh, still working on the area in my house. Uh, but Christmas and uh, New Year coming up, I've had to, you know, pull back a little bit, and especially with the things going on with my daughter, a little bit. And now I had to stop the work. But now, you know, once you get settled, I will most definitely um start back okay so you guys thank you so much um join the channel subscribe we are almost at 10k y'all we are almost there ah, hallelujah <laughs> we are almost there oh i can't believe it but anyway you guys let's keep pushing let's keep moving and i will talk to you guys tomorrow all right Good night, you all. Bye.